Good morning to you on this Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Today we continue our look into the attributes of love, as Paul is recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And today we read in verse 5, Love does not seek its own. Love does not seek its own. Personally, I find probably this is one of the most difficult attributes of love, learning to put others before oneself. As one famously said, the biggest problem with us are three of our closest friends are me, myself and I. And we have to get over that mentality. Love looks out to others. Love puts others first. Now, if we decide that that's the way we want to love and we should decide to do that, it will be tested. There will be many times, many opportunities, even throughout this day, where that will be tested. But if we allow God's Holy Spirit to work through us and to love through us, we will learn to put others before ourselves. We will learn that love often sacrifices what you want in order to help somebody else. Jesus himself said, Greater love has no man than he give his life for his friends. Jesus not only said these words, it's exactly what he did. He gave his life not only for his friends, but really for his enemies, because through, through sin we were his enemies. He loved us so much that he died on the cross. He suffered hell, took our punishment, that we would not have to do it, that we would not have to experience it. We thank him how great his love is for us. Love does not seek its own, but love puts others first. We pray that God would help us to love with this sort of love. And what a tremendous witness that is to us as Christians, when we love with an unselfish love, when we are prepared to give something up in order to build up somebody else, in order to help somebody else to make sacrifices, it's not easy to do, as I said, but if we stay attached to God, as, as the branch is attached to the tree, to the vine, then the living juice, the sap, the Holy Spirit flows through us. And then we can love in the way that he wants us to love. So let's ask God to help us today and every day to love with this kind of love and to stop every time that we want to just do our own thing, to realize that love does not seek its own good. Let's ask God to help us now. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for the weekend. We thank you, Lord, for a brand new week. And as we head into this week, we pray that you would help us to love with the kind of love that we are reading about in your word. We thank you for your word. Your word is like a scalpel or like a two-edged sword that cuts in deep and that shows us exactly where we stand. And Lord, we confess that we don't always love with the kind of love that we should love with. We confess that very often we have put our own needs ahead of others. We've put ourselves first. Our three closest friends have been me, myself and I. Lord, we pray that you would help us to change. It says in your word that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed away and the new has come. So Lord, we pray that you would continually renew us as we come to you. As we begin this week, we offer ourselves anew to you as a living sacrifice. And Lord, we ask that you would just love through us, that you would live through us, that you would use us, help us today. In the times we are tempted, help us to be strong. In the times we're tempted to do our own thing, Lord, and not see others, open our eyes and our hearts. We just commit ourselves to you, Lord, and we realize that apart from you, we can do nothing. But then with you, we can do all things. For Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So we ask that your Holy Spirit would just flow through us today and that you would lead us, Lord. Take us by the hand and lead us. We ask your blessing over this week. We pray for those that head to work and to school and to other places, Lord, that you would protect. We continually pray that this coronavirus would stop spreading. We pray for the sick. We pray for the dying. We pray, Lord, for patience and strength for those in the medical industry, Lord, those that in the healing professions, that you would strengthen them and help them. We pray for scientists. We pray that you would help them find a vaccine for this virus, Lord. We pray for all who have any need whatsoever, knowing that you provide and care for all of our needs. 
Lord, we commit this day to you. And we ask, Lord, that you would just bless us, keep us, and have mercy upon this world. We pray for someone who doesn't know you yet, Lord, that this would be the day that their hearts would open and they would come to know you as Lord and Saviour. So, Lord, we commit all to you, and we join now together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Now, my friends, may the Lord bless you. May you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I look forward, God willing, to seeing you here again tomorrow.